fights back. So what is going on, guys? We are back. This time with some quest druid. I saw Zalay playing it. I was in uh, Dragon Rider's stream. She was playing it, and I decided to give it a run. I've kind of played a few games off camera. Went 0 and 3. I did get to Legend earlier this week. I was actually and started in the top um, 600. I didn't play for a few days and ended up around 1100. Then the three games got me down to 1200. So we're gonna give this deck a try. See how it goes. Uh, we'll go with the. Let's keep the quest obviously. Probably coin, so we get the click. We can use this if we need to, and we can do this on three. I don't think we want to nourish this early. We probably could have actually got rid of the crystal power as well. But Starfall might be okay. I'm still kind of figuring this deck out, so please do bear with me. But I'm playing against Soul DH, which is pretty strong, which may be a bad match, but we have a lot of healing. So we'll go with this on turn one and drop the coin, complete the quest, and pass. We'll probably just pass next turn too. This this quest though I do like a lot. I think it's very druidy. Um, I like this much better than ramp, ramp, ramp into gardening animals. I guess they're gonna push some pressure, which I mean is under, which I mean they probably want to do. But we have a lot of healing. We have 10 healing in hand right now. So. That's going to be a nourish eventually. We can just pass this turn. The next turn we can play the play to steel beetle or heal for 5 or draw a card. I think we want to draw cards. I feel like that's pretty good. Unfortunately, 3 damage is kind of a break point. It doesn't... Um, This won't clear it. So let's let's heal a little bit. Get some armor. Have him deal with this. Soul DH is a good deck, and I think we might have some trouble with it because it is such a good deck. And they curve out super well. Like I, I assume they probably have the weapon here. They have a weapon. It's not the weapon. don't think that's the play. And I'm being sincere when I say that. I don't think that's the play. I guess they're trying to pressure me down. We can do that next turn. And I think we'll just heal this turn. And hit this so we can start taking some stuff off board. That's really good. That's some healing that's awesome. This will come down next turn. He probably has to trade into this in some way, and he can't do it without throwing the weapon. They could get um, Glaive Bound, which will take care of this, but the fact they're not attacking first is pretty good for me. And they've used two Twin Strike. They've used one Twin Strike already. So this trade's clearly there. Okay, not anymore. That's okay. So we're just going to drop this. We'll hit there and hit there. Get some of the pressure off board. I think we're doing... We're in a good position right now. Skull Ghoul Dan. Maybe draw a Soul Fragment so that some of it's discounted. Okay, so the last one's going to be discounted. That's good. I think we can nourish next turn. That's okay. We will nourish this turn and into the Rising Winds Twin Spell. Another nourish. A zero fives, a zero mana three five is really good. We'll do that. Into this. And next turn, we can go Gidra into Hidden Oasis and make him make Gidra her, I guess, Gidra a 7-10, which is really good. Looks like they're going to clear this with Blade Dance. 
which is fine by me. Because we can follow it up pretty well. Okay. In fact, I like that if they are using the Blade Dance, I like that they're doing it now. So I can... So this... So these are less likely to die. Yeah, that's great. That's fine. So we'll take 8 this turn and be at a good heal. So let's play Gidra first. And we'll throw two of these right in there. Then we can heal it for three if we want to. I don't know if we want to do that. You don't take the ones. I'm probably I'm assuming they probably have a second blade dance in hand. Skull or how oh, it's being played now. Let's either It's the other um outcast card. There's everyone two. Consume magic. That's fine. I still have a 6-6 six, six on board. They can't Blade Dance to clear everything. They can clear the 7-4. Which, I mean, you probably want to clear the 7-4, right? 7-4s are pretty nasty. So I actually like healing Gidra this turn. Okay, so we can't. That's fine. That's going to take the weapon offline. So let's play Centaurus. Which is going to make our board scary. We have four fours and eight eights. And do we need to heal this turn? The answer, I think, is no. We do not need to heal this turn. We have this healing for later. We're at 24. So how much do we have on board? We have 16, 19 damage on board right now. Blade Dance is a card that exists. It's a card that exists. Skull of Ghoul Dam. Could get the another weapon. But they have used quite a bit of Twin Slices. Yep. But that has to trade into a 4-1, which is great. Oh, well, they got the second boy dance. That's fine. So what we can do here is play King Pharos, which will summon a bunch of stuff. They've used both their twin slices. I like the idea of playing Pharos, because we get... A 1-drop, 5-drop, uh, 2-6-drops. We got no taunts, though. Which is a bit unfortunate, because they have 8. They need 10 damage right now, which is very doable to get as Demon Hunter. So maybe the better option was to heal. But they're not immediately jumping to kill me, which is nice. No rushes either. Marrow Slicer. If they have Labrador, they have Lethal. But they're not playing anything right away, which makes me a bit hopeful. They probably have a glaive bound. Okay, something's going there. I grow impatient. Can't play lapidary. Unless they got off skull. Pain is not lethal. Four, seven, nine, twelve. Okay. This has to. These this stuff has to trade, right? Okay. Let's clear this one out. 
let's go with this. Let's send this here. We'll send some damage face. And we will heal for five and draw a card. Whew. This just kind of worked out, didn't it? This was kind of a gamble. I think it might have been better to heal. Well, it didn't matter, right? Because they had Kane. They could have just gone through the taunt, but we would have healed for 12 also. So, I guess there was um, different ways to look at it. If they get um, Militia here, it's pretty good. But they've just used two of their Soul Fragments. I think this, is, this closed out the game for them. Yeah. That was a good game, though. 